Hello, my name is Jörg Behrendt. I'm a German master chef and I'm working at the Culinary Institute of America. So today I want to make a relatively simple soup with um, local ingredients, cooking a soup from scratch, nice, healthy um, and delicious and not difficult to make. First, I want to introduce some of the ingredients I will use today. First, I will heat up some oil in my pot. The first thing I will add are the onions and the onions I will now kind of cook them until they get translucent and tender. Okay, and garlic. Adding the carrot, add the celery now, my ginger, um, at this point I will add now my, my pear, my pumpkin, Okay, at this point I will add my potatoes and at this point now I will add a little bit of seasoning, not too much because at the end you can still add more seasoning if needed. So I add some salt and a little of pepper, a little bit of the paprika and just a little dash of the ground cumin not too much cumin is very very strong but a little bit now i mix this up so just now add the stock make sure that all the vegetables are submerged that means they're like kind of submerged inside the stock swimming and what i need to do now is bringing that mixture to a simmer Okay, so now it's about 15 minutes um, down the road, so I will just check on the vegetables and you can see once you kind of go into your knife very, very easily, right? that means that the vegetables are, are cooked and they will blend just perfectly smooth. At this point now, I will add some of my coconut cream. Again, if you don't like any of the ingredients, you can just leave them out. So if you're not a fan of coconut, right, just, just don't use it. All right, so adding some of that. Um, it gives the soup later um, a pretty beautiful, a little bit of a um, tropical um, flavor to it. It goes actually pretty well with that. I will pour the soup into, into my blender. So you see there's still enough liquid. So we need to have that liquid in order to make it a soup. If it's too dry, at this point you can still add more stock. But again, it's easier to add things than taking things out. Add the cover. Now when you blend anything hot, you need to be very, very careful. Uh, it's potentially a little bit dangerous um, if like the hot soup kind of um, squares out. So when you blend, um, be um, very, very careful with that. Okay, okay, and adding it to a pot. You see the color is very natural, beautiful, um, a deep yellow from the pumpkin. The texture is um, like a creamy soup without um, using any of flour or starch. So you have no issue with that. 
right? Um, the trick was what I used was the potato um, to make it just natural and thick like a soup. Now, important is um, before you serve that you taste the soup. And I think for me, it's enough salt already. It's enough pepper, um, enough cumin, um, enough paprika, maybe just a little few drops of lemon juice to kind of finish it up with that. And then our soup is ready to be served. The final is basically just scooping the soup into the soup bowl. But nice and hot, it's really steaming hot. My coconut, so we'll add a little bit of that as a, as a garnish. Just, just a few, like a few drops and lines, just like this, to give it a little bit of a touch. Very easy, you see, just sprinkle some of that. Maybe some green leaves, I have a little bit of basil here, can add that to my soup as well as a garnish. And maybe a little hint of paprika just to give a little dash there as well. And then the soup is ready to be served. Thank you for watching, enjoy your soup and I hope you will be able to follow these instructions to make a beautiful healthy soup from scratch. Thank you.